Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Dragana from Sasebo. Today I want to share with you um, a journal that I made. It's a, it's a really special one. Purple is one of my favorite colors. And here we go. It comes in this um, little bag that I made for it. Uh, with some beads and organza ribbon. Okay, let's see what we've got inside. As you can see, the cover has a lot of textures, um, a lot of texture. It was a, a collage that I've done and I've added some strings and pieces of thread and um, I think there was some napkins as well and uh, it was actually in a totally different color than it is now. It turned out really bright, like purple and yellows and oranges and I liked it at the time but then a month or two later when I looked at it I thought, oh, I don't like this at all. So I painted it again, painted over it in different um, colors, um, Added some distress ink as well, and then I put some of the silver finger wax or patina on top um, to give it a bit of a shine and to lift up the texture so it's more visible. And it turned out really nice. It has this like organic look. It's you can see the purple coming through and orange a little bit, but it, I can see that because I know what's underneath. But it actually looks more like brownish, dark purple or um, really like color of the tree bark at night. Or it's got really like a mystical look to it, but I don't know, it just looks really like... And it's quite firm to the touch. And then um, I had this butterfly from I don't even know when. I just was just lying around and it was a broken piece of jewelry, I think. And I thought, oh, it would look really nice there. And this was uh, like a, a bookmark that I was given from my grandma and she got it from someone that wasn't using it so I thought I'll put that there it just looks really oriental kind of and I added uh, this feather I like feathers um, and over here I had a piece of broken chain and I thought I can make a little closure with that it looked really nice and I added the key charm. Um, book corners. Silver color, not really silver but it's like metal. Just to protect the edges and it looks really nice, I don't know. As you can see, only one signature. Um, so let's open it to see what's inside. Now, what we see here is actually one of my experiments. I used, I think, soda or a beer can that I've flattened 
and then put through the embossing folder and then I painted over it so it's got that shiny look and there's a, like colors coming through and inks I'll probably use some gilless wax as well can't really remember exactly but I thought it would look really nice there and I've done several of these and I painted them all in different colors and one of them I actually scanned in to create like uh, my digital kits of papers and it's this one here that you can see I printed it out and I thought it looked really cool to have them both there okay so on the first page we've got this um, dragonfly picture that I stitched on top of a piece of a fabric there's some uh, textures or embossed paper it's like a writing but it's an embossed so I just lifted it up with a bit of ink and there's the word dream here uh, this is from my digital kit, I think, Dream Diary, and this is from the one called Mystic Travels. And I printed it on a thicker paper. I use, I like to put thicker paper as a signature color. Okay, next page. Now we have a belly band here. It says here, time flies and there's butterflies flying away. A little clock there. I put some of the printouts from my other digital kit. Ah, oh, it's this dream diary as well. So it's printed on both sides and it's like a little journaling spot and two different designs. This one's with the clock face and the butterflies on this side. And Okay. like so and this is a, a a rose petal that I oops sorry rose petal that I dried in the I just put it in a book forgot about it and then later on I found a few of these and I've decided to laminate them and put in this uh, frame it and put like a specimen thing and this rose just started flowering again in my garden so I'm gonna make sure I collect a lot of the petals and uh, I think it's a really nice addition just to put something in a journal that's actually around me come from my garden so and I love roses <laughs> And it goes well and like if the color is like a blue with some midnight blue with a light yellow kind of like a moon color okay so here we have a tracing paper it's not vellum it's tracing paper but it's that's similar to that that I actually printed on um, again this is one of my paintings that I scanned in and I just sometimes print and use as a paper for my journals it's the feathers and uh, I put a little flower then I I think it was a die cut from the handmade paper that I made and I just added a bit of ink to match the color scheme and there's some piece of bling here Okay, so next page is left blank, just for journaling. And here we have some music sheets. Actually, this book belonged to my cousin, and it, you know, when my auntie moved away from uh, Sarajevo, she left those books with me. They were just lying around and I thought I might as well use them. I don't play piano, but um, I could use them in a journal. <laughs> and then I realized 
that this actually this book actually belonged to the library and I just made a joke with my cousin I said you never returned a book to the library and it's been what over 50 years <laughs> imagine the fine you would would have collected by now if, the, if that library would still to exist so we just laughed a little bit uh, so there you go it's a piece of history there and also there's like a music paper there people who can just write or will write music I don't know and other papers from different uh, notebooks diaries oh, this one's really old as well you can tell it's got that natural yellowing around um, I actually rounded the corners so just put this one I like that look and it, this is all one signature and it's quite a lot of writing space but also it's like different types of papers that I use and now we come to this part here I actually use the scrapbooking paper for this one and then I added a um, piece of paper from a book and this is from an envelope uh, this is like original stamp and there's another little picture there that's stitched onto this page over the piece of a piece of fabric that's like matching the color and it says escape the ordinary and then we turn it around and there are like two pockets this paper also I created using like actually this is like a flower bag like corn cornmeal cornflour bag uh, after the the food was used obviously I just uh, shake off the excess and I it was all crinkled I scanned it in and I just changed the color a little bit because it was bright yellow and it turned out as a really cool um, background paper so I really liked it and there are two little pockets again this flower is made with a handmade paper and there's the actual petal of a that Oh, what's the name of that flower? Primrose, I think. The flowers that um, actually show up early spring here in Northern Hemisphere, actually in Europe, so. Um, there it is, it says here, create. Okay, and now there's like a little tag made from another one of my digital kits. Some music here. This side I stitched around with a black thread and I put a piece of a black lace on top. Looks really nice. And now we have two of the herb herbal cards. Um, again, from another one of my digital kits, uh, herbal collection. I love herbs. For a while I was all into herbs. And making salves and teas and potions and try to grow as many as I could in my garden but then now I basically just like to include them in my artwork this one is I think oh, they're all with the Latin names that I wouldn't know how to pronounce but both of these there are plenty of them in my garden this is Dandelion, I think. And this one, I'm not sure the English name. Okay, now we continue. So now there's a, again, pages for writing. There's, again, <laughs> that book from the library. Music, piano, notes. Okay, now we have here, what do we have here? Like a belly band and a journaling card. I used file folders to back this up um, but this is this piece of paper was embossed and then I painted it 
oh no, I didn't paint, I used ink uh, in different colors and then added black on top and the heart and a bit of fabric and some another little heart cut out from the handmade paper. It's a, just a really nice card. I made a belly band here with some lace. I stitched the lace to this piece of paper and I, this is like a, from a doily I had these um, crocheted pieces that my mother-in-law uh, made and um, it was such a shame they were always sitting in, a, in this you know somewhere in a cupboard or in a drawer and they were so pr beautiful and I thought she passed away unfortunately last year and I thought how about I cut out a little piece of them and use those pieces in my artwork so whoever ends up buying it will be able to see and admire her work um, rather than it sitting somewhere in my house and nobody seeing it but um, it's actually really nice and this is what's left when you cut out those because it it was like made out of a lot of little doilies connected together so when you cut out the main pieces you're left with these and I really like them so I try to include as many as I can in my artwork okay so we come to the center this is also from that dream diary digital kit obviously printed on a thicker piece of paper and then I had I bought these heart shaped die cuts I was playing with them and I just made a lot I just got really uh, crazy with it and I thought I'll just put it in the middle and I used stenciling and ink to create that effect and it looked very really nice so I glued I think down here yep but um, it looked really nice there. Now this side again we have another tag. This one, oh it's like a you can journal at the back. Now this one is um from my Mystic Travels digital kit, but I added a bit of stenciling in black on top and stitched around in zigzag with the black thread and added a bit of this to the top. This actually comes from a Japanese kimono that was given to me by my sister-in-law um, she said I have these kimonos that I'm not using on she was given and never used and said do you want it to for your craft I said yeah why not and it was actually white with some um, red like and I washed it obviously the temperature was too high or I put something else in it and it colored it in, in this light yellow with <laughs> I tried washing again to, but no it was permanently colored in this yellow color uh, but it still looks really nice it's really soft pure cotton it's really beautiful fabric okay again now we have more pages to write on and more of that music okay now another page which is the same as this one um, with two pockets again a tag made from mystic travels digital kit this is a collage that I scanned in and I cut it out made tags this is a uh, scan from uh, one of those books, um, music books that I had, piano notes actually. And again, another two of my cards. And this one you can actually write. This one has like plain back. This is Angelica, I think. And this is, I think, Jives. 
here. It says daydream. Okay, at the back I put a piece of I uh, put a picture of a rabbit from my dream diary collection. There's like a little butterfly die cut piece here, and some picture of a moth. I think I thought that goes well together. Just uh, connects it all. Now we go to more pages. I try to use pages from old books that either I collected over the years or they were given to me. It's just like a piece of history there. I think this one might be even from when I was uh, like a teenager. I don't know. And we come to this part here, that's that part of the tracing paper that I printed on top and I stitched around. Again there's like a piece, torn piece of paper, this might, might be from a book, I'm not sure. And uh, another moth, we know that moths fly during the night and the theme of the diary is kind of like a stellar as well, like night sky kind of thing, mystical and now we come to the end I made a little side pocket here added a bit of lace this is also like from my digital kit and there's more journaling spots here this one's with that rose and this is actually a piece of my artwork. I had fun, um, this was probably done like a year ago or something. I just felt like painting and um, I played around with one of the die cuts. So I cut out the shapes in the paper and then I painted on top and then I put another piece of dark color underneath to show through. So it's actually a hole in here. Uh, but I had fun with acrylic colors, just you know, stenciling as well, and I've made quite a few of these and turned them into bookmarks and things. But um, I thought this one actually goes really nice in here with this, so it can be used. I don't know, maybe I could could have made like a bookmark and put a little tag here, or just like this, like a little picture. Um, nice colors okay and now we come to the end what do we have here oh it's a little like a notepad Just several pieces of plain paper and I just had this long strip of scrapbook paper left and I thought I'll just cover it like this and like this and make it into a little flip out notepad you know just so you can write something um, the paper I used here was really bright kind of like really bright purple and it just was just too bright so I just used um, ink like brown ink on top just to bring the color down a little bit and then I also stenciled those roses I think I did this the same here yeah and that is it so a really cute one it's not that big um, but it's not small either it's like I think I tend to make things that I think I would like uh, and I kind of like this size uh, it is four and three quarters wide and six and three quarters wide I'm talking about inches and in centimeters it's 12 centimeters by 17 centimeters um, 
one signature. I hope it finds a nice home somewhere. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!